Welcome back to the stream. Through the power of magic, I now have Dragon Quest XI in the Switch. God, as much as I like having a physical copy of the game, it is really annoying to have to, like, you know, switch out game carts when you get used to just playing whatever the fuck, whenever the fuck. Like, a lot of games I have on Switch are digital, so I could just, like, boot it up. Dragon Quest Builders 2, it's on there already, no problem. Could you believe it? Such an intense problem. Yeah, the main problem I have with owning the games physically is that they taste bad. Oh, and the other problem is I'm afraid I'm gonna lose them. Uh, so yeah, here's where I was last time. Uh, I got Veronica and Serena. So, Marl and... Echo. And, uh, this is right after the demo, so I haven't played this really. I played this for a couple minutes. Like a half hour, um, since I got the full game. So this is my first real delve into the game. So you're gonna be totally lost. You could read this if you want. But we have to go to the tree. Basically. Vinny, do you have the DLC? I don't know. No, I mean, I played for a half hour of the full game. The eight hours is the demo. This is literally where the demo ends. I did this thing where you go into 2D for a second, and I didn't love it very much, so we're just gonna just keep going. You good? This free costume DLC. Hang on, wait, wait, where's that? Claim special rewards. Claim rewards. You aren't currently... There aren't any rewards to be claimed. I'll just do that next time. You can auto-run, you can auto-fight, you can auto-go through cutscenes. All you have to really do is go to the locations. Also, from what I understand, I, I read Square was talking about, Square Enix was talking about how they, um... ...had to basically, they consider this more of a remake... ...than a port. Because they had to redo so much of this from the ground up. Yeah, Eric. Good boomerang. So again, for anyone who hasn't seen me play this game, I will explain. I will not be streaming this full game. I may not even ever finish this game, but I like it. It's the first RPG that's come out recently that I've played in a very, very long time. And I'm hoping I can play through it. I'm hoping I can enjoy it. But I also figure every now and then I'll hit you with a stream of it. And you can just see where I am in the game. Mainly for people that like the game in the first place. You know, so obviously you're going to get story spoilers if you watch the streams I do of this. They're going to be so far apart. Um, and my reasoning for not wanting to stream this is simple. As I've said... Four, it takes me fucking forever to stream games, and this is my first Dragon Quest, and I'd like to enjoy it on my own, as opposed to spending four or five months on one game. So, that's my whole spiel in a nutshell, that you've heard many times. I like the word spiel. I use it a lot. The Dothraki live here, I guess. 
the thoughts about the music. Uh, I know all about the music stuff. There's not enough songs in this game so far that I thought were, like, stunning, but they've been good. I just wish the world map theme was longer than one minute. You can change to Dragon Quest VIII Overworld with DLC. So I'm going to head to the eShop now. Oh, just look at all these people. How marvelous. Is there some kind of festival going on, I wonder? Hmm. Yes, of course. She's actually not a bab. She's um, a 4,000-year-old drat. No, she's, um, she's adult. Where they love to compete. They're twins. I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. Well, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Yggdrasil branch. That's why we're here, in case you've forgotten. All right, so now we're going to play the, to the lowest note of the instrument, oh, yeah, incrementally down. No fun. Go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. And then we're going to go all the way back up to the higher note on the instrument, incrementally. Let me try something here. Yeah, the voices are as loud as it gets. Massive town, huh? Boy, having not played this game in a month and coming back into it like this, it's a little mental. My nipples! Wish to sell you a sword. Are you interested? So, like, they have different things that they can use. So I'm going to get an Iron Lance for Serena because uh, I've been, she's been using that stuff. But she, you know, you can use two weapons. Like, so Serena could use lances or, um... The other thing. What was the other thing? Uh... Uh, the, the stat, uh, the, the poles. <laughs> poles. God, that's a lot of money. I'm- I'm just not gonna do that. Not Serana. Where'd you come from? And then another thing you can do is... You know, you could always use the fun-sized forge. Which is a game mechanic that I unlocked... Like, maybe four or five hours into the demo, you get it. And then you can, um... Forge a variety of different weapons and... Stuff, and- and it's- it's actually kind of cool. I like this- this mini-game... That you get. Like, in order to make equipment... And then make it better. It's... it's nice. Happening headwear that weighs barely anything at all. I'll even... I'll do one. Um, I'm gonna get a shield... ...here for Serena. Rework your strong items. Yeah, that's one thing you can do. So there's there's a couple different ways you can do this. So you can do flourishes. Lightning edged bash. You have to get it in the green without going over. And then there's a... Uh, like... There we go. So now they're both in the green. I'll do a double edge over here. That one was perfect. That one's okay. So this is pretty good. Pretty good shield. Didn't fuck it up. One perfect. 
It's gonna be like a plus two, I think. Surprisingly cool little part of the game that I didn't know would be in here, and uh, very enjoyable. And then you can use the pearls to rework items. So, uh, my bronze sword is as good as it can be. And, um... You can see here, like, I can rework these gold bracers for... Eric. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, this is crazy. Look at this. You could really fuck this up. Okay. Ooh, that was good. It's not bad. Plus... something or other. Plus two. So now Eric has a slightly better... bracer. Still using a goddamn silver platter as a shield. It adds charm. It's charming. Oh, she can't use this. That's horseshit. I just made that for no reason. Oh. Didn't I buy her a staff? Oh, no, I didn't. I was going to, but I didn't. Wait. Yeah, no, Serena got the Iron Lance. She can... Yeah, when she has a wand, she can have a shield as well? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go get the Dragon Quest Eight world map, because that sounds lovely. Hello, my child. How may the church assist you, faithful disciple? Would it be too much to ask to help me make the Borglars here in this city? We need more guys to help make the Borglar. Southeast of town, you can get the Puff Puff. Oh, good. I'll leave you with this for a second. Fail, uh, failed to load cache data, Nintendo eShop will restart. Mm. 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 How do you feel about the 2D mode? I don't think I'll be doing that. Server is undergoing maintenance. No wonder I can't connect to the eShop in-game. Oh, man. Well, I guess we're not gonna get any Dragon Quest VIII music. Just watched the finale of Preacher, what a ride. Really? It ended? God, I'm like three episodes behind. I'll check that out as soon as I can, I guess. It's just that Dark Crystal show happened around the time I was watching Preacher again. Our world may be full of horse races and circuses and joyous celebration now, but it was not so long ago that Erdur up, 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 praise be to the powers above those dark days are behind us. Congratulations, you read. 60% of what I said correctly. I want to buy some carpets and pillows. Look at that armor. 
That's some shiny ass armor. That's cool. Welcome to Galopolis, home of Eridria's most magnificent horse races. The races are open to all. Simply pay a visit to the stables on the western side of the city should you wish to participate. Got some stanky frame rates there, I saw. Could spend all day traveling through these stalls, these rarities, and bargains galore. Ah, oh, what's that? Have I come across some kind of special branch? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember hearing about some valuable branch or other that the Sultan owns. Maybe you should ask him about it. He lives in the big palace at the top of the stairs in the middle of the city. Imagine being able to just do that. Go to a new city and just talk to the leader of that city with no problem. was restful, thank you. Um, where is the buff buff? Sorry, puff puff. Soon evil will arrive at last. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him now. Sword through the gullet. You can smell it, too, can't you? We're supposed to be here having a nice time, and this idiot goes and steps in horse poo. Well, I'm not walking around with you smelling like that. Get out of my sight. Oh, I wish I was dating someone cool like Prince Ferris. Sorry, I just wasn't looking. I didn't realize there'd be so many horses here. I didn't look where I was going, and splat! She's really mad with me this time. We've been saving up for years to come on this trip, and now a little bit of horse poo has gone and ruined it all! What a solid relationship that is. Ah, good day to you. I assume you are here to sample Galopolis' world-renowned cactus cutlet. Oh, if so, I'm afraid I have bad news for you. The kitchen is currently closed while I dedicate my energies to helping uh, to improving the recipe. I am certainly certain that the golden globule would intensify the flavor tenfold, but acquiring such an ingredient is easier said than done. The golden globes, cacti, who carry them are extremely vicious, uh, but they would pose no problem to her for a young and no doubt vigorous individual such as yourself, I am sure. Perhaps you could assist me. Would you be willing to hunt down a golden globe? Oh yeah, I'll just win one. Let me put a TV show on the air real quick. In order to acquire the golden globule I require in order to perfect my cutlets. Praise the sands. They appear very occasionally alongside their cactiball brethren in combat outside in the desert surrounding Galopolis. They're not the most common of creatures, I confess. But if you were to engage enough cactiballs in battle, you would be sure to encounter one eventually. Eventually, I need a single one. Funny. Good day to you, handsome young man. Would you care to hear my tip for the next race? Of course you would. Now, are you ready? Let us consider the runners and riders. First of all, Prince Faris, the only son of our exalted Sultan and the pride of all Galapolis. This dude's looking directly at the camera. Rumors have been circulating concerning his prodigious talent for years, and now at last he's about to show the world what he is capable of. An early favorite. However, if he is to win, he will have to beat Faiz, who won last year's event by a huge distance. Surely he will be keen to defend his title. There's some others taking part too, but the race is sure to be a duel between these two. Come and see me should you wish to hear my tips again. I'm a dancer at the circus. The ringmaster sent me over here to drum up trade. Uh, not that it's hard. The great Silvando's performing tonight, and he's just amazing. You should definitely come along. I... I really want to see what the Silvando guy is all about, because everyone talks about him. Silv's probably in his dressing room getting ready. If you want to chat, now's your chance. 
Should I go do the quest first, or should I meet Silvando? Interested in the circus, eh? Well, I'm the ringmaster. Hi, Danny DeVito. We're just getting ready for our biggest show of the year, the annual Sand National Special. It's always popular, but this time we've managed to sign up the great Silvando, one of the world's top performers. Ticket sales have gone through the roof. I honestly can't believe we got him. I was sure he'd refuse. You see, he's renowned for wanting to do his own thing. Mine. Fuck. Oh, hey, honey. How sweet of you to come back here and see me. Are you a fan? Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> I knew it. Well, it's an honor to have such a fine young fellow cheering me on. If you're here for the show, you won't have to wait long. Oh, it's going to be fabulous, darling. My best yet. I'm not a fan. Hey, there's no need to be shy. I don't bite. That pose. The gallantry. I'm looking for Puff Puff in all the wrong places. Where's the Puff Puff chat? People were telling me there's Puff Puff around here. You want some Bark Bark instead? This horse is like, nay. Do you enjoy your life, horse? Nay. Is this the Puff House? Oh me, oh my, just look at you, what a handsome fellow you are. I wish to give you the priceless gift of Puff Puff, will you permit me? Yes? Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say this, come then, follow me. Goodness me, but I cannot see to you all at once. Whatever do you think I am? Hee <laughs> hee. Just you, my sweet. You will- you alone. Come now, will you follow me to my private chamber? <laughs> Wonderful, then follow me. I'm gonna get robbed, aren't I? Now just sit right here on the bed. That's it, my sweet. Oh no. Is it alright with you if I turn off the light? Yes. Here we go, then. Puff. Puff, puff. Puff, 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 puff. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Puff, 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 puff. What? What are you? Hey. Puff. Hey, that tickles. Not bad, huh? I give puff, puff an elf. I do... Har, har. What? My sweet, meet my father. He is the greatest practitioner of the Puff Puff in all the lands of the world. <laughs> That's me done, then. Don't be a stranger, eh, sunshine? Har <laughs> har! I want my money back. Oh, wait, I didn't spend anything. So, my sweet, how are you feeling? Are you soothed and calmed? I do hope so. You will come and visit us again soon, yes? Did he use his, like, pecs? Or did he pull out some slimes as well? What's he staring at? Don't you go giving my girl any funny ideas, you ear. She's got enough of her own. Ha <laughs> ha! So, how was it, Vine? Gosh, well, um, should we get moving? That's awkward. Very, very awkward moment. So, uh, how was the Puff Puff? You know, I've been thinking... <sighs> so, 
so I need to find the cactus lads. Vinny, switch to the bad MIDI version of the soundtrack. Sure. Oh, you have to exit the menu first. Oh. Oh! Oh, those are some butt trumpets if I've ever heard them. Sugiyama's like, yeah, this is good enough. We'll just record this from someone's ass. So where's the, um, where, 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 I'm looking for a cactus thing? Further left? You will know when you see it. Okay. Oh, I see it. I guess I'm gonna hear the MIDI version of the battle theme now, too. Yeah, as I said, uh, Stop Skeletons from Fighting did a good video about the music situation in Dragon Quest. I can't claim I know everything about that situation, so I'm sure you can find other videos and other resources online about the midis versus symphonic. People were super angry about that video for some reason. Well, I've had people angry at me just because I said I didn't like the MIDI versions of this and because Sugiyama might be a penis. People get very, very territorial and people get very, very into the things that they like and there's little room for criticism. I happen to like lots of things but have criticisms with those things. You know, I, um... I think Blade Runner is a very flawed movie. I'd be the first to tell you that. But... Yeah. I mean, again, I'm sure they're... And it also depends on how well the information is presented, and if it's all accurate. I don't know if everything in that video was accurate. I have no idea. I didn't do my fact-checking. Scub or anti-scub? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like... I see the pros and cons of both scub and, and, and non-scub. Wait, that's not... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Someone wrote bloody neutralists. Uh-oh. Pick a side. You bloody traitor. You, you bloody rabble rouser. Not for you, for me. Pick a side so that I feel better about you picking a side. Did I do all right? 
you likely won't be much happier if you pick a side, but I will feel better. Well, wasn't I supposed to get, like, a giant cactiot enemy that was supposed to give me a steak? Oh, it's just a rare enemy. All right, we'll keep going then. I'll fight some more cactus. It's like a shiny Pokemon. Eric almost dead. Wonderful. <laughs> that why is that in my left ear? It's like she's ASMRing me. How wonderful. some fire. Vinny, are the headphones on backwards? Uh, yours might be. Vinny, that was the right ear? Oh, oh, I said left instead of right. That was my fault. So I heard it in my right ear, but I said left because I'm a dumb. Yeah, using a great sword would be nice on the hero. Uh, let's see, do I have anything? Not really. Can I make one? If you press X, X and then Y, it does auto heal. Oh, okay. Inyot, you can quick heal. X and then Y. Okay, good. Good to know. Thank you. Stop that. Him of fire. There's no fire based attacks. I didn't. Ah, oh, damn it. Ooze bruiser. It's using moves that aren't even useful right now, but that's fine. Skills that I could choose. Keep getting better. Fizzle, bang. Oh, I see how that works. That's cool. Okay. So it's attributes. No, it's it's miscellaneous. It's character builder. See, I already put so much into swords, and not enough into great swords. You can respec at the save point? Okay, so then we'll just do some great swords now. I'll just do a little bit of great sword, and then I'll buy a great sword, because I want to be great. 
Attack power when wielding, plus five. Um, yeah, I may switch to great swords. Uh, people are saying they're overpowered, and I also find the hero is not doing enough damage for my liking, so... Increases chance of hitting when attacking with boomerangs. Um, we'll get attack power. And, uh, increases chance of hit, yeah. So attack power and hitting, and... This should be... That, yeah, that's ready. Hidden panel shatters, revealing dodge chance plus 3%. Okay, so Veronica's stuff increases magical might. Hypno whip. Maximum MP or spooky aura. I can't do any of that, I'll save for it. And Serena. Let's see what we got here. Um, Hymn of Fire. Hymn of Ice. This is, um, MP absorption when wielding, plus 2%. Cattle prod. She's like a battle... Um, she's like a paladin now. Attack power when wielding. She could use the extra attack power, god knows. I'll give her that. I wanna focus on healing and spears for Serena. Serena. Macarena. Um, also, I could buy a greatsword back at the, uh, castle. There's a little red lad here. Who's the red lad? Hello there, Mr. Luminary. I look... I took my ticking time, but I found a great password for you. Oh, this is, um... This- this is the thing where you go back in time. I'll show this to you for a little bit. There are more tackles out there... ...whiling away the hour searching for passwords. If you get a password, you can then go back in time and do a 2D adventure area. Um, but the 2D adventure areas, the battles are very, very slow. They take forever. It's, yeah, it's a lot of Switch-exclusive content. This game has a huge amount of new stuff, from what I've been told. I can't make a great sword. I can't even make an okay sword. Who the fuck are you? There it is. Now, can I improve this, or can I only improve stuff that I create myself? I want to make it even better. You can improve most things. Okay. Boy, this looks like shit. Oh, oh wrong thing! Oh, you son of a bitch! I meant to do this one! Fuck! I've crusted it out. It's the wrong damn button. Benny, you could even it out. Uh, it's got a serrated edge now. Yeah, it's it's even better. Bleed damage, yeah. That's good. Ah, uh, it's a plus one. That could have been like a plus two or three. If 
fuck it, we'll go again. This time I won't fuck this up. It was deliberate! Pretty good sword, I'd say. Plus three. From our mistakes, we learn and we grow. Hopefully. I'm working on that myself. Look how big this fucking sheath is. There's a lot of, like, spooky enemies. There's, like, a wizard over here, too. Let's keep at it. Nice work, Eric. Very good damage. Boy, this sword looks like shit, though. It does not look like what I was creating. There's no serrated edge, there's no- there's no point to it. It has- there's no point. It's like Cloud's hard edge in Final Fantasy VII. It doesn't look like shit, but it, it's not your- your usual sword. Just a big block of metal. The old chunk of coal. I found it. Found it. Found a special one. Ooh. Big attack. Got a lot of HP, huh? Oh, Serena's almost dead. Kill that one first. Serena, really, I should have done some healing with you, Serena. This would have been a good move to use right at the beginning. Buff. Buff, buff, buff. Someone said I usually put my healers on auto healing focus. Good to know. So if I do tactics, I can do Serena um focus on healing, right? And that'll do exactly that. I might not stick with that, but I want to see what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Oh, goody. Sell a rattle. Okay. Compastry. Comp. Spells. Got uh, magical mending. Increases magical mending. Does that mean it just makes healing better?
Well, it's either that or I go for more spear stuff, but I, I think healing would be wise. That's a cool move. It seems cool. Him a vice first. Boof. It's a good boof. Rousing ring. I want to fight the wizard. I love auto heal. Oh my god. This game just is so fucking good. Playing other RPGs and then playing this, it's like... Thank you for making life easy. That's all I've ever wanted. This increases defense... a little bit. Um... Strength ring... Hmm. I'm good. Hey, is the eShop back up yet? <laughs> Let's keep at it. What was the dude's name? Al? Pastor Al? In Builders? It'll be up in an hour? Okay. Yeah, they said 8 o'clock, so... What are you wanting to grab in the eShop? Um, a new world map theme. Oh, you can't... You can't, like, horse around with these dudes. Let's keep at it. Also, someone said Eric can steal, but I don't think I have that ability yet. Ability is the skill tree you put all you put skills on. Okay. You should also try to unlock dual wielding for Eric. Okay. Easy peasy. This area looks better at night. Also, again, for a Switch game... They did a really good job with this port. Aside from all the extra stuff, just getting this whole game... ...onto the Switch... ...and having it look like, yeah, there's a lot of pop in. There's a lot of resolution crust... ...when it scales down. But I'm happy they spent... ...like, well over a year working on this, apparently. This is the kind of port that we need to see more of on the Switch. I say that as I get stuck on a cactus.
I also like that you don't have to get off the horse to pick up items and such and stuff and such and such and butter's stotch. <laughs> What you need, dude. Oh, does your presence here mean that you have brought me a golden glo globule? By the sands, a golden globule! Oh, it is. is it not so much more charming than any ordinary cactus? Its texture appears to be perfect. This will make for a most satisfying cutlet, indeed. A thousand thank yous, friend. You have improved the lives of cutlet lovers everywhere. Please allow me to give you a little something in return. I got Trickster? Seems like something... Um, a clairvoyance card imbued with the power to evade enemy attacks increases evasion chance very, very slightly. You can reforge it. Yeah, because it's kind of shit in its current form. I don't, I don't love it. One percent is, you know, it happens more than than you'd expect. But I'm gonna see if I can get that a little bit higher. Even higher. All right. Plus one. I thought that was going to be a plus two for sure. Well, now it's got a 2% evasion chance, so that's... Double. It's double good now. Um... Maybe you need this, I don't know. Sure, why not? Oh, pl okay, it shows you all the, um, the different permutations. So you can get Charm plus 10, and Evasion Chance plus 4% if you get a plus 3. Yeah, this place just looks so much cooler at night. Circus isn't all about Silvando, you know. We're all at the top of our game. That's why the Sultan asked us to come perform here. Uh, good morning. Well, now you don't have an audience. <laughs> what? 
You've met the great Silvando, and you've spoken to him? Truly, I am green with envy to exchange words with the undisputed Grand Master of the Performing Arts is my great ambition. Greatest, even. Much longer must I wait. Why must the sands torture me so? Good day to you. Are you perhaps wondering why I am standing here? Yes? The truth is I am a painter. I am waiting for a scene worthy of being immortalized by my hand. I've already envisaged the sort of image I would like to paint. A mighty, magnificent conflict unfolding in the desert. Alas, the sands have yet to oblige me. There is something missing. What could it be? The setting is perfect. There are plenty of spits fires. But of course, of course, cataclysmic, chaotic conflict in the form of magnificent moves, moves such as wild side. You could assist me. Venture out into the celestial sands and s slay a Spitzfire by unleashing your wild side. That will provide me with a tableau worthy of my... whatever. What does that mean? What does wild side mean? I don't remember. It's been a month since I played. It's a pep move. It, it can only be performed by 33 very specific people. Okay. Select the tributes and press A to find out more about your pep powers. Even when she was given head, she never lost her head. She said, hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. Great. Thanks, game, for making me think about that. Wild side is Serena, Vine, Eric. All must be pepped. Good. Picked up some night soil. The Sand National is nearly upon us, but my horse is taken against me, and is refusing to run. If we do not resolve our differences before the big race, we will have no chance of beating Fayez and Prince Faris. It may be difficult to imagine, but our exalted Sultan was once very different. Oh, yes. When he was younger, he was a true hero. Swordsmanship, horsemanship, not to mention the intellectual arts. He excelled in them all. The lady of this house is a keen collector of classic literature. As a butler, it is often false to me to do the collecting on her behalf. Many years ago, she dispatched me to Arborea to pick up a particularly rare volume. At the time, I was aggrieved to be sent on such an arduous journey. But looking back now, it was quite the adventure. Great. Let me steal shit. Thanks. Those are my 70 gold coins. I found them. They're mine, and you will not complain. And you didn't complain. You missed a red book. Forgot about the red books. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Guardians of the Star. I'm not gonna read this out loud. I'm just gonna read this to myself. Something tells me that completing that dude's quest is going to take a while, so I'm just going to meet the Sultan. Advance this fucking story. Don't even- don't mind me. Dude with a giant sword headed through. Stranger with a giant sword. Passing through the fortress. Welcome to Galopolis. If the Sultan is- if it is the Sultan you seek, you will find him in the throne room atop the Great Staircase. Meow.
Everyone is quick to paint Prince Varys as a hero, but the race is not yet run, let alone won. Forgive me, I'm looking for a cat. It is a very adorable little cat with soft, fluffy hair. Oh, dear Princess Furris. There are too many cats here, and they all look alike. But Princess Furris is easy to identify. She's the fluffiest and most adorable of them all. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought I was, like, getting kicked out of the castle for this. I just found the royal briefs. Alert! Scumbag! Alert! Scumbag! Old underclothes that smell faintly of sweat and regret. Why regret? Oh, I know why. Have you heard the rumors? They say that a wicked man called the Darkspawn has escaped from Heliodor and is terrorizing all Erdria. What a frightening world this is. But I need not fear. The Knights of Galop Galopolis will keep us safe. I am sure of it. I am the Darkspawn. And I am the Shockmaster. I'm sorry, did you say something? No. No, I, I no. You seem nice. You have a giant sword on your back. You're breaking all this stuff. You're stealing everything. You stole the prince's boxers. Or the sultan's boxers, or whoever. Secrets of Ye Flame. Tries to read a page or two, but something tells him he's not quite ready yet. Okay. Power of Positivity, a ruler's handbook. Should one wish to be a great leader, one must be positive at all times. And it is true. Just replace great leader with YouTuber. Who would want to follow a mopey, indecisive man anywhere? Nobody, that is who. So forget all those negative thoughts and think positive. Step right up and take the shit. I don't think I need this broadsword. Yeah, it's a little shittier. It's a single-hander. My bronze sword plus three is a little better. It looks cool, though. I like simple swords that look like that. of age, and as such... You, no, no, no! An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. Such functional pleasantries will not thrill my beloved subjects. Hmm? And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave. <laughs> Immediately! This dude sounds familiar. <laughs> Father! 
My training is complete. Um, hello. <coughs> then give me the pledge. <laughs> This is Zoom. Oh my. Knight's word is his bond, his kingdom, his master. He serves the weak and tiringly, challenges the strong. Um, These fucking voices. Ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Ha. Almost kind of wearing a chrono outfit. Mm, yes, very good. The knight's pledge must always be your guide, my son. <laughs> <laughs> you are a man now, Faris, and tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. your name, stranger? And what brings you to Galopolis? Those eyes. I've seen those eyes before in a bedroom somewhere. Vine introduces himself. He explains that he comes to Galopolis in search of a mysterious branch. Hmm. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the great staircase. I shall await you there. Cool. What? A thousand pardons, but His Excellency the Most Exalted Sultan is rather preoccupied with preparations for the Sand National at the moment. Prince Ferris's chamber. Simply turn left at the foot of the Great Staircase, but please do not disturb him at this important time. Ah, good day to you. Tell me, what did you think of Ferris? He's a fine prince, is he not? I'm glad you agree. Oh, after all, he's only a child. Oh, both of our Surely there's not one minute he does not spend improving himself in training. No one's gonna stop me? No one's gonna stop me from running around up here like this? Hmm, fellow Galot, nah. Hmm, oh, you are still here. I told you, I have no time for audiences with strangers today. You must leave. People seem to believe that Galapagos has nothing to offer beyond knights and horses, but surely it is our cats that are our greatest attraction. Only here for the cats. Unless you're allergic. Like me. Stepping foot inside this capital would kill me. Instantly. -la -la -la. <laughs> Old Prince Paris, fall he, he will embarrass any who stand in his wee. I am endeavoring to write a song in praise of the prince, alas, very little rhymes with Paris. I mean Faris. I mean Paris. I mean... What the hell is that doing there? Is treasure chest behind there? The crown jewels are behind here. Fifteen hundred gold coins. That's a lot. That is a lot of cash. I just stole 
the royal coffers. Stop! You violated the law! All right. You're going to come with me, and I'm going to put you in jail. And then I'm going to, t going to take your clothes... Ah, you came. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. Your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of... one who knows horses. You should be aware that I the what? ranch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. My father is unlikely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. However, he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. <gasps> Walls have so many unwelcome ears. Ah. ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Will you join me there? Sure. Then it is agreed. I will then it is a date. Entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. I love in RPGs when a random dude steps up to you and is like, Ah, I can trust you! You are the one! There is something in your eyes. I am sure that my father could be persuaded to part with the rainbow if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. Meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late. This is a request from a chat member. Achievement unlocked. Fuck your couch. It's a bed. I know. It's a reference, chat. Old, old reference. My crossbow is my best friend. It is my life. And yet my crossbow alone is not enough. It's nothing without the crossbow, kid. What? What do you mean, crossbow kid? I know what that means, man. Yeah, I like Oasis. They're pretty good. I like their song Live Forever. That's a great one. <laughs> have you heard of Great Silvando, yes? Of course you have. He's one of the most talented and popular circus performers in the world, after all. You would not believe the lengths to which I had to go to find tickets for this show. I cannot wait for it to get underway. Everyone has heard of the Great Silvando. And yet no one knows the first thing about him, not even where he was born. That sort of mystery is no doubt part of his appeal. This is my special VIP seat, where the circus begins over here every hour from here. That's cool, you want to play cards? Oh wait, wrong game. Oh, I'm sorry, this tent's not open during the daytime. Come back this evening if you want to see the circus. Okay. I love big, strong men. That is why I came all the way to Galapagos to watch Prince Ferris in action. I've been hearing great things about him. I see he's tall, muscular, and terribly handsome, and apparently he's good at riding horses, too, or something. 
she have Valkyrie? This is very, very silly. I like how you can, like, choose to get rid of someone. Yeah, that almost is the Carlton dance. Um, alright, uh, so now I just wait until evening. Yeah. Um, we can go to the inn. All right. The great Silvando. I'm just going to rest a while. Um, until dusk. Is this correct? Dusk, yes. This is when the circus starts. This is the evening! <sighs> Dusk is- is evening, no? Am I- am I stupid? Well, y you know, don't answer that. Chat, that's rhetorical. You're gonna answer anyway. Dawn is morning. I chose dusk. Spend another 32 coins for this shit. Dusk is just after sunset. Yeah. Seems like evening to me. Seems like I've been lied to. You came, excellent. The noise of the circus will allow us to speak without being overheard. Shall we go inside? Good, the circus has already started. We should enter without further delay. This seems a little convoluted. Just meet me outside the castle walls. No one will hear us out there. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. The Wandering Wonder, who amazes audiences wherever he goes! Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other! Prepare yourselves for... The Great Silvando! Ball. Wait, is Silvando a clown? If he works at a circus, he could be. Oh, he's a jester. Oh, he's gonna have a fun moveset. 
What? Oh, right, because you can do that. You can breathe fire if you do the thing properly. Ladies and gentlemen, please! There is no need to be afraid! The great Silvando will never endanger his adoring audience. After all, darlings, you are the ones who make this show so special! I love you all! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> I don't know, it kind of looked like he almost killed a couple people. We must talk while the people are distracted. And please, not a word of this to anyone. <laughs> now, as you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. Okay. And tomorrow, I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However, <laughs> there is a problem. One teeny tiny... Terrible problem. You don't know how to ride a horse, or you're afraid of it. I cannot ride. Mm -hmm. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. What? I have so far been able to hide this uh, unfortunate fact, but if I were to take part in the race, the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered. And yet, I have no choice for a prince of Golopolis not to take part in the Sun National on the year of his coming of age. It's unthinkable! Unthinkable! <sighs> Brought! Huh? So you see, your coming here was fated. It is a sign. The forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double. Ta-da! Uh-huh. That's fine. Your double? How's that gonna work? Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates have provided that also! For you see, the royal family always races in full armor, lest the unthinkable occur. His face will be hidden from view! <laughs> oh, please, please! I beg of you, you must help me! You must enter the Sun National in my place! You are the most <laughs> pathetic excuse for a prince I've ever seen. If you think we're going to help you lie to your people, you've got another thing coming. Huh. Is that so? Yeet her off then the, I assume <laughs> off that the edge. The need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow. Talk about shameless. Wow. What a Call himbo. You will. It changes nothing. You will do as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Yes? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I knew you would see sense in the end! Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. You have my word. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. Rest well. I will see you in the stables, bright and early. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city. Do not be late. Now, I must be on my way. Farewell, friends! <laughs> I love JRPG <laughs> logic so much. Hmm. Vinny, always pick no for funny. I will next time. Then the morning comes. Smash Mouth song. Good morning. I hear that you spent the evening at the circus. Was it not the most wonderful spectacle? And today is the day of the Sand National. So much to enjoy. <laughs> The streets outside are already full of life. Pardon? You wish to find the royal dressing room? Why, is it the grandest room in the stables, of course? They are to the west of the paddock. Enjoy the race.
Got to amuse myself a little bit, too. Did you want to talk to me? Western part of the city. Well, that's like left. I'm kind of curious what Veronica has to say here. I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. <sighs> what a little weasel. Just thinking about that useless prince makes my blood boil. Still, you can't get out of this now. You've got to try and win that race. Let's head over to the racetrack and get training. So weird. Such a bimbo. If you didn't watch my Final Fantasy IX streams, the bimbo thing won't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, Faco is what I like to call her. Uh... What a long face, you ask? Because poor Saruk is devastated. Finds his injury comes a terrible blow to him. He was so looking forward to the race. I don't know what's going on with these voices anymore. I'm just, just pulling them out of my ass. It's like pulling, like, magic streamers out of your butt. Same thing. I feel so foolish. I pushed myself too hard in training and now I cannot race. This is a tragedy, a tragedy. The Sand National is my life. I, oh, I live for it. This is terrible. Fires has been injured. He must retire from the race. We had so wished to see him put the prince through his paces. What are we going to do? The crowd will be so terribly disappointed. Someone will have to take his place, but who else is skillful enough rider to handle such a steed? Me. I will be both of them. Eric and I shall put, shall do the race. Prince Ferris, yes, his highness is through here in the royal dressing room. You may enter, but remember to be respectful, please. That's just not how things work. You can't just enter. Thank the stars. I was beginning to worry that I might actually have to try and ride the horse. Now, come, the race will begin shortly. And fear not, remember my promise. If you do as we agreed, I will ask my father about the branch. Well, are you ready? Good, now hurry! You must don the royal Galapian armor. Gal Galapalitan, Galapalitan armor and helm. Fear not, they will fit you perfectly, I am sure. <laughs> it is as if they were made for you! Now no one will suspect for a moment that you are not, in fact, the Prince of Galapolis. Now the race is about to begin. My sorry, your steed awaits outside. Once you are safely mounted, make your way through the paddock. To the paddock, the racetrack lies beyond. Meet me afterward in the passageway that leads to the racetrack. You will give me the helm, and no one will be any the wiser. Now go, and remember, you are the Prince of Galapolis. Let your public expect great things of you. Do not make a fool of me. Ah, uh, Prince Ferris, I trust you are fully prepared for the race. Finest steed in all the realm awaits you. Please take the saddle and proceed to the track. Your adoring public awaits. Your Highness, a thousand pardons. I do not know how these children got in here. I will see that they are removed immediately. That's right. Remove, remove. Or I will run them down. Be warned, Prince Ferris, I always race to win, even when I race against royalty. That's me. Hi, everyone. I am the prince. I'm famous. Indeed. is this room? My preparations are complete and I have no idea how to race. This is ripping off a knight's tail. Oh my god, you're right. 
I haven't seen that movie in like 15, 20 years. Look at all those cardboard cutout people. Hello, Galopolitans! This is... Uh, no ordinary sand national! Uh, what? No one can hear you. I wonder how they fit this on the Switch. This scene. Such a fine figure of a man. Like, did they, like, make Wee! gifts? <laughs> Are they just sprites? Or it's pre rendered? It must be wonderful to be so popular, darling. Looks in engine. Of course, you are used to it. Being a real live prince, huh? You bet. Oh my god. The name's Silvano, by the way. One of the other riders had a little whoopsie, <laughs> so I had to step in at the last minute. But don't think I'll be going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey! Wow. Oh, so that's how this is going down? Yeah, the aerodynamics of Silvando's horse are terrible. Okay, uh, hold ZR and press Y to tug on the reins for a nice, tight turn around those tricky, tricksy corners. The stamina will subtly subside. Um, top it by running through green swirls. Drift. God, Silvando, what the fuck, dude? It's a pumpkin? Yeah. Shit. This is not the most intense horse racing music I've ever heard, but I'll take it. Oh no, we got boss battle music. See, even the game knew that. That's a lap of fool. Or just win. Vondo was going real fast. I'm surprised he lost. Player one has wind. <gasps> oh, magnificent! I hardly dare think that you might actually win. Now, quickly, I'm claiming my the victory. I shall take the reins from here. No. Fear not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father just as soon as my people have finished showering me with adulation. Oh, I bet it'll feel real good, you fraud. <laughs> Cheers of Prince Ferris's adoring public fill the air as he makes his way out onto the track.
Praise the fates. You Our cheated. Plan was a success. Not only the game, but yourself. Thank you. You have spared me great humiliation. <laughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow. <gasps> All hail, Prince Faris! Pride of the desert. Horseman extraordinaire! Darling, you are fabulous. <laughs> it was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Uh, 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 oh. Wait, don't tell me you were... <gasps> Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance? <gasps> no. Oh, this is too, too good! <laughs> wait, wait! But you do not understand the pressure I am under! A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom! I did what was necessary for the sake of my people! And now, all can be forgotten. Yes? And there was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity! Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom, and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry! Hell jester. <gasps> a thousand pardons, your highness! The Sultan wishes to see you, Your Highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. Very good. I will come right away. What happens if you lose the horse race? My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what can be done about this branch. You die? Oh. He kills you? Just the same thing happens, different dialogue. So nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Oscars. Boy, the resolution gets really nice and sharp if you're facing a wall and nothing else is happening. That doesn't look too bad here either. I mean, it just depends. If the area gets really busy, it gets a little soft. I want to hang out with Silvando. The eShop is back. I'll just... I'll save it for another time. Desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. Hmm? Oh. Well, at least he's holding his Father, end of the bargain. If I may, I have promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the knight's pledge to heart. <laughs> Lucy? Thank you, father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. Her Majesty, the beast has returned. 
It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. The Slayer of the Sands is back? Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer. I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to hmm. terrorize the Celestial Sands. But wait. My boy, the fates are speaking to us. Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become. What? But, 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 but oh, father, <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and perished. <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance. <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> oh, yes. This is your moment, Alice, <laughs> my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. But uh, I... I... Oh, very, very well. Father, <laughs> yay! <laughs> yeah, I begin yeah. my preparations right away. <laughs> that was great delivery. <laughs> oh, 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 a thousand pardons. The, the rainbow will have to wait. Meet me in my chambers. There is something we must discuss. Oh, uh, what do you want me to do? Wear some armor and go kill something? Hmm. Yeah, I like watching Eric's facial expressions or just body language during cutscenes. like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No! <laughs> no, such a thing is impossible! I am no knight! I neglected my training! I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me! <laughs> oh, it is not my fault! I am an only child! I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements. Wow. I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. But the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew, and now finally they expect the Possible. Oh, 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 it's so unfair. Just run away from home, dude. Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom. And through no fault of my own. <laughs> Please. <laughs> will you take pity on your own friend? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I am begging you, begging. If you will not do it for me, <laughs> do it for Golopolis. No. I am begging <laughs> you, begging. If you will not do it for me, do it for Golopolis. <sighs> Don't really have much of a choice then, huh? Thank you. Ten thousand thank yous! <laughs> and fear not, I will speak to my father about the rainbow as soon as the beast is captured. We must make preparations to depart immediately! I will await you at the castle gates! What a pathetic... 
pathetic excuse for a prince. Goodness knows what'll become of Galopolis with him in charge. Oh, we mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. He's still a himbo. Someone in chat just wrote, who is this sassy child? That that is an adult human man. Not no, it's not a man. It's not a man. It's just an adult human. <laughs> she she had a spell. I'm sorry, my wording was all off there. She had a spell cast on her, so she's she's now like adult in bab form. <laughs> she's like a man, baby. The Slayer of the Sands has appeared at times such as these. It is more important than ever that we soldiers remain vigilant. Hmm? Prince Ferris, he appeared to be heading out of the city. In fact, there seemed to be quite some... some um, up, 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 up. Why stop? This is a ploy. This is a conspiracy. You seek to besmirch my name. But I've done nothing wrong. Fires was destined to win the race. That is a fact. And now people who were frightened of my predicted powers are trying to silence me. Listen to this, please. I gave this man 10,000 gold coins because he said he knew who would win the Sand National. He said he had a system. Not only did his system fail to predict the winner, it failed even to select a horseman who was taking part. It is unforgivable. If he does not return our money, we are going to take him into the middle of the celestial stands and leave him there. I realize, like, half the voices I've been doing for these characters today have been Ringo from the Beatles cartoon. Sorry, that's just my favorite video uh, right now. That's just my favorite video ever right now. So um, I'll also, someone sent me a, a remix of an REM song that I can't play right now because it's definitely going to get claimed. Um, I'm going to play this for another little bit. During the art, I'll show you the REM thing because it is the most pointless thing I've ever seen in my life. Prince Farius is going to capture the Slayer of the Sands. How brave he is taking on a beast that has killed so many of our finest knights. Ah, there you are. I have instructed my men to wait outside the city gates. Come and join us as soon as you are ready. Eshop? Oh, I'm not going to do that now. Hey, Limes. Also, Limes, thank you for the raid. Thank you for the host, and I want to say congratulations on finishing Wind Waker in one setting. How sitting. How could you do this to us? 
You have volunteered us for certain death. Probably same setting too if you stayed in the same Be house. Not trusted retainers. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Ha! Impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. But... but this isn't now, about us, it's about you. The Slayer is said to be located deep within the Celestial Sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis! Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's so happy he doesn't have to do a goddamn thing. Room for a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast hunt. Oh god, here he is. Huh? How? Oh right, you perform in a circus. Huh? <laughs> There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Well, aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little deer? Look, I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? Can I say no here and still get him? I don't want to lose this opportunity. People are saying yes and no in chat. I'm confused. I don't know what's happening. No. <laughs> Playing hard to get, huh? Ooh, you are a one. I'm not letting you leave without me, though. You need me even if you don't know it yet. Lead on, darling! Oh, okay. Ow! I, I wasn't even, like, backed into saying yes. He just came with us anyway. I missed a good item inside the church. Let's see if I can do this. Um, I would like to be done in the next 20 minutes. So can I... You think I can do all this in the next 20 minutes, chat? M maybe? 20 minutes. Um, he's not really in my party at the moment, doesn't seem. I think he's just, like, tagging along. You can beat the whole game in 20 minutes. Oh! Lovely. Lovely. Prince Faris and his men have already entered the Celestial Sands to willingly face us, the Slayer at such a young age. His Highness has courage beyond imagining. I know, it's mental, right? I couldn't believe it myself, how brave he was. Halt! The Slayer of the Sands is on the loose. I cannot allow you to... Ah, you're the ones who will be accompanying Prince Ferris, yes? A thousand pardons. His Highness has asked that you be instructed to go right on through. cliff. Kind of. Oh, wow. There's like a bunch of mages here. Is I see a sleeping dragon. I don't know if that's the Slayer of the Sands. You have a lot of fucking balls coming out here, you know that? I am a researcher here from Sniffleheim. Is this like the smell version of Nibbleheim from Final Fantasy VII? 
the Sultan of Galapolis is giving me special permission to investigate these ancient ruins, yes? The stars can be seen so, so clearly from here in the desert. That is why I am thinking that these stones were used for some sort of star-related ceremony. Stone Edge. It's a parody of Norse Niflheim. Oh, okay. Oh, look, crabs. That's something. Silvando is just here. Oh, okay. She's like, I'm really mad. Uh, and I'm also going to miss my attack. Hey, if Veronica goes into, or Serena rather, goes into pep powers, then I can do the thing. Oh, no, no, no I need Eric to do that too. Oh, 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 okay. Come on, Serena. Come on, Serena. Pumpadoo. Thank goodness. You need to use it on a Spitzfire? What's a Spitzfire? Are these little things Spitzfires? You need to do it on the Sleeping Dragon. Someone said, do it on the Poppin' Gamer. You- that's so- that's so funny, though. That's hilarious. Veronica, you need to hit your pepperoni powers. Not Veronica. God damn, I keep getting it- Veronica and Serena confused. Ow. Thank you, Silvando, for that. That was a nice noise you made. some pep. We need some pep in the step. Please. Please. Serena, please. Silvando, don't kill! Silvando, no. Pep power can't be used because some party members aren't currently able to move. How do I fix this? How do I fix this? Just defend. Oh, you can't! <laughs> uh, oh. oh. Oh no! I thought there was only one. Okay, alright, this can still happen. This can still happen. Alright, okay. <laughs> wow, this is cool. Holy shit. Wow, Eric, you're a fucking beast! What happened to you, Eric? Wow. Silvando's just like, I don't know what's happening, but great.
Uh oh, damage. One, two, dead. Hell yeah. Easy. Did it. Quest complete. Okay, now I need to find the um, prince and do the actual thing that I'm, that I'm supposed to do here. Let's have a nice little chat. Two checkpoints. Um, oh, okay, it's it's the north one. Is this gonna take- is this really only gonna take 20 minutes, or were people japing? It's just a boss. We shall see. Oh, I can't, like, knock the crabs out of the way. Ow. Not an easy boss, that's fine. I can- I can still do it. Two damage. That was enough, though. Crab armor is just, you know, mental. Yeah, stuck on a giant flower. That's slightly phallic. I just realized I don't actually need to get off the horse. Here it is. Play in 2D. I think you have to, like, go to a specific dude for that. What? Let us spend the night here. The monster will have to wait. Oh. Oh, ah, ha, ha. There you are. Uh, as you can see, I have decided to set up camp. We will continue our quest in the morning. Nasra, you get your beauty sleep, Princey dear. You've got a hard day of getting us to do your dirty work for you to be preparing for. Come on, <laughs> you. Let's have a sit down and a nice chat, shall we? Yeah, Silvando, he's, he's got some sass, but he's, he's nice about it. So, two boys and two girls out on a lovely adventure together, huh? How romantic. But what kind of no, adventure, dude. I wonder? No. Come on, spill the beans. Now, beans, you're talking my language. To be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet. But for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mystery surrounding the Luminary, you see? It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth, that's enough. You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester our whole life story. We barely know him. 
My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, now that does sound fun. Hmm. You've got a strange idea of fun. What about you, Silvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? Oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kitties. Betty buys. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice tights, dude. Well, aren't we full of mysteries? <laughs> What's Excuse me. Deal? Morning, campers. Hope you slept well. Got ourselves a slayer to catch. Our little princey Pooh and his friends set off at first light. We'd better hurry if we want to catch up with them. I'm doing the best I can, chat. Not everything is voiced. I have to do my best. That looks like a Pokemon. Save? Isn't there auto save? Ah, uh, shit. Where? Ah. Uh, well, well, where do I save? Back at the campfire? Oh, I didn't even see the statue over there. I did see it, but I, I guess I didn't, like, right? I didn't... I'm stupid. So, if I go to play in 2D mode... Well, let's see. This will create a new adventure log. Do not do it now. It resets the chapter. Nope. I guess you could make a new save file. Yeah, if I want to, like, spend time... ...or if I want to, like, um... ...do this quickly... ...checking out 2D mode would not be a, a wise thing to do. So, next time I play this game on stream, whenever that may be, I will check it out. Purses. The Slayer of the Sands was last seen here. Ah. <laughs> the cowardly creature is nowhere to be found. It must have fled in fear. Let us return to the castle and inform my father of our success. Success. Thank you, Goku, for telling me that. Up and at him, Principal. Show that filthy thing what real knights are made of. Uh, 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 
Oh dear, looks like poor old Ferris has been struck down with stage fright. You soldiers, be dears and look after him, will you? Come on, gang. This little drama needs a hero or two. <laughs> okay. I got this. Boy, you're like a lot of crab Watch things out. and mantis and, and things all at once. God damn it, Savando, I'm trying to do some stuff here. Oh, apparently, so, wait, does Dazzle not work on this dude? It does? Okay. Oh no, now I'm confused. Uh oh! <laughs> you brought this on yourself! Ah. You big dummy. Now we're talking. I don't think I needed that at all. Yep, so, uh... So Hero is dead. Right, now that's what I needed. I needed to hallucinate earlier. Shit, I don't think I have anything that can bring him back. Ho's dead? I guess so. Wait, maybe Eric has the leaf. Oh, that is not good. Eric does not have the leaf. God damn it. I can't access the inventory from from here, right? No, nope. cannot save. Party inventories, yeah, that's that's a Dragon Quest thing that I am not used to yet. Shit, dude. Oh, I think he's got like some kind of magic. Let's see, do I have a decent dagger for Eric? Um, it, nothing better than what I'm using now, so. Oh, Jesus. What? Nothing happened. How's about this then? Swapping weapons doesn't take a turn. Oh, that's good to know. Watch out. All right, with two HP. Thanks. 
It's a shame I have to miss out on the experience. Miss. You pep up and then you miss? Oh, Eric is blind right now. Oh, shit. I'm going for broke. I'm going for the attack. Try to kill. Oh, fuck. Can't kill. Can't kill. Can't kill. No, not you, Serena. No. Snap out of it. Thank you. Yes, Silvando, you're the best. Thanks. What do do now? Oh, there goes the healing. One HP on Veronica. Oh, Savando, you gotta, you gotta win the fight, Savando. Oh no. Do the roar. Do the roar. <laughs> Stop missing! Everyone's dead. <sighs> Not an easy fight. I am a little underleveled for this. Definitely. This is a little bit annoying, isn't it? Transferring all your stuff to different dudes. To different people. It's like... This seems like a thing that, that really doesn't need to be in this. I get that it's a series convention, but... Yeah. I have one leaf. Great. Uh, I'll give Eric the leaf. Hopefully, you know, it'll work out. Goofy can hold a lot of items, so be sure to give him many potions. Goofy? What are you on about? This isn't Kingdom Hearts. Check my, um... ...experience to the next level. I can get some... Uh, I, don't, I don't like grinding in RPGs, and I know this game isn't considered to be the hardest of RPGs, but I'm definitely going to get that extra level. Okay. I'd, I would like to get going very shortly, and, and eat something as well, so... Hopefully I can do this in one more try. You might if you get lucky. Maybe. Don't have a decent. You know what it is too. I didn't also like buy better equipment for my party. Bye. 
use the forge. I'll try to use the forge. Did I do all right? Okay, there's Not a level bad, up. Eh? There's a level up, and we need vine to level up as well. Focus on A. Crabber Dabber do A, please. Which is isn't that a Flintstones theme or catchphrase? Alright, not bad. Um, now I'll go and save again, real quick. Forge items. Okay, level up. Forge armor. Let's see. Who needs good armor? Scale shield. Well, you're not. You're using two hand. Um, nope. This ain't happening. Beanor Respec. R E S P E C. Let's see. Oh, I have a turban already in the inventory. I can put that on Vine. Bronze armor would be nice for Vine. And then, um... These- these bunny ears. <laughs> uh, I can get two- or one dress. I'm gonna get it on Serena, because she could use the extra defense since she's the healer. upgrade that stuff a little too, which I will do, but before I do that, I want to, uh, get this turban going. It's got just- oh, oh, it, I lose some other stuff. Maybe never mind for now. Who should I be respecting? 20 gold per skill point. Eric and Hero. Let's see if I can do it. Two hundred and sixty. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> and uh, Eric, what about you? I'll just go all in with boomerangs for now. I could sell some stuff too. Rework. This bronze armor. I don't have enough pearls, never mind. I'd have to make stuff to get pearls, so never mind that. Um, again, I- if I had more time, I would do all this shit, but... I'm gonna sell... Is there any junk in this game that you could just sell? 
can be sold for a few gold coins. That's junk. Can be sold for a few gold coins. That's 500. That's pretty good. Alright, we'll respec Eric and Vine, uh, and then I will save and attempt the fight one more time. Let me do this again. It's, um, miscellaneous. Character builder, here we go. Great swords, alright. Um, critical hit chance, plus 2%. Cutting edge, it can inflict a good deal of damage, yes. Definitely that. And uh, attack power increase, not enough skill points. This one is. What is this one? Frost Fangs? Fires frosty projectiles at a group of enemies that can freeze them to the spot. Cutting edge seems very good, though. Alright, and Eric... Why don't we get you some, some good boomerang- you got a lot of fucking- Oh, never mind. I was gonna say you got a lot of boomerang skills, but you don't. Not, not as many as I thought. Metallica. It's a, it's a band I'm thinking of. Carl, what are you talking about? It's a Metallica. It's Metallica, Carl! Knives for Eric do more damage. Daggers are better. Boomerangs aren't great. Okay, so then... I don't know. Boomerangs are good for early, mid-game, but he winds up with knives. Boomerangs are good for hitting multiple enemies. Well, yeah. I'm going to not spec Eric. I'm gonna make these decisions on my own later. Aura. Okay. It has been 20 minutes. It's been longer than 20 minutes, even. The 20 minutes I thought we were going to do, it, it's long past at this point. So you get bonus content. While a hungry Vinny tries to slay the boss. Alright, I got this. Rabble Rouser. Look out below. Yeah. 
Sap. And hopefully we can hit with Dazzle immediately. Bad luck. Good luck is him attacking Silvando. Alright, cutting edge. Let's see how much damage this does. Yep. Yep. Oh, we get to use it again, too. Nice. This fight's no problem now. It's still gonna be a problem, isn't it? Does, uh, sap st stack? Oh, it's just renewed? Alright, never mind. Damn it, Serena. Uh, yeah, Dazzle worked. Um, last time I got it going one time. Holy shit, Eric. On Dazzle. Got it. We keep getting vine turns. It's amazing. Dude is getting fucked up. Wow, it's amazing how a little preparation changed this fight entirely. Okay, now now the damage is, is starting to happen. Nice miss. Yeah, that hallucination shit is amazing. He's almost dead. I meant to do spells and I got defend instead. Very nice. Oh! His back begin to glow. This is gonna be the final hit. Not enough MP. Shit. All right, attack. Just attack. You got this. Silvando with the final hit. <laughs> Two hits in a row, and the final hit. And now everyone gets experience points, which is great. I was worried about that before. That will teach you to be so grumpy. Now, hold nice and still while I tie you up. The Slayer of the Sands is bested, all in a day's work for the Prince of Galopolis. <laughs> you saw me, man, did you not? You saw the people's prince defeat the fiend that terrorized them so. Uh, yes, your highness. Of course, your highness. <sighs> You have my thanks, Fred. My heroic feat would not have been possible without your... ...valuable... ...contribution. <laughs> I still have not forgotten what I promised. I will speak with my father about the Rainbow upon my return. You may rest assured of that. 
This is going on three hours of this. I will help you. Does not really, help. Principal? That's how you're gonna play it? And what do you think they'll be expecting of you next, huh? You speak as though I have a choice! Are you suggesting that I disappoint my father and the citizens of Galopolis? <sighs> I'm not suggesting anything, darling. You do what you need to do. <laughs> to Galopolis, men! We return as heroes! Yeah! Yeah! Well, this feels all kinds of wrong. You're right, Sylvan, though. Nothing's going to change if he keeps on pretending. Oh, I think the poor boy knows that well enough. All he needs is a little push. Anyway, I'd better be getting along. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again soon. Ciao for now, my loves. Oh shit, they have Italian in this game? <laughs> Italy is a part of this game's world. Well, uh, yeah, alright, so progress was made. I'm gonna save, and... I'm gonna get going, and, uh, I'm, like I said, I started early today. I started like four and a half hours ago, so... I am good. I'm taking the night off, gonna do some music stuff. And I'm going to try to enjoy my night. Tomorrow will very likely be original time. Extra crispy. And uh, it'll be probably Minecraft and Astral Chain. If you're interested. But thank you for watching. I don't know when I'll play more of this game on stream. Now that I'm fully invested back into it, I'll have to play it on my own. And... I'm really enjoying it. This game is great. So one day, one day you'll get another stream of this, but it'll probably be like another 10 hours in or something like that. But, yeah, I'm sure someone else is streaming this somewhere, or you can just get the game yourself, or something. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I can't do the whole game. It's just too much. There's just a lot of it. But, high quality, good port. I like it.